The effects of the bridge collapse hitting the supply chain. Maryland Motor Truck Association President and CEO Lewis Campion joins us now. Lewis, thank you so much for being here. Griff is describing a scenario where it seems that they hope to have the channel opened by the end of May. It seems like it's a little aggressive, but even still, it's going to have a substantial impact on many industries. And one of the worries is that when routes are diverted and there are alternatives that are found, do you ever come back to the original? Well, that's a great question. And thank you so much for having me. And you're right. The the announcement yesterday is one that is optimistic and encouraging for our industry, certainly, particularly our local trucking companies who rely entirely on the business at the Port of Baltimore to survive. Um, but you're exactly right. Port competitiveness is a major issue. And in as much as we are feeling this so locally, you know, shipping routes are being changed, supply chain distributions are, are being changed. And ultimately, even when that waterway is reopened, that's just the first step mm. to bringing cargo back into Baltimore. The bridge still needs to be repaired. We know that that will take some, you know, much longer time before that occurs. And Baltimore is really going to have to work hard to continue to attract shippers back to our terminals. We are excited because I know the White House, the Maryland Port Administration have been in regular contact with many of the, the shippers that do business at the Port of Baltimore. There has been an overwhelming response, you know, re-encouraging and reaffirming yeah. their interest in coming back to Baltimore when we are reopened. Lewis, you, you know the truck business here. Obviously, that's your specialty. Truckers face a ton of red tape all the time, but you're calling for some of that red tape to be scaled back so that truckers can adapt and find new ways to continue to haul goods. Talk about what you're calling for. Absolutely. And we've been very excited about the response. So, uh, you know, if you're a trucking company that doesn't traditionally go across state lines, we have members who only serve the Port of Baltimore. You know, they deliver 15 miles round trip to distribution centers, warehouses, for example, that are then delivered by another company who may take that shipment across to the Midwest or longer haul. And so we've asked for some relaxation of some of the rules and we've gotten a great response from various levels of state government. Hmm. Things like um, a, allowing a paper log book, for example, as opposed to an electronic log book, because you don't traditionally have to have an electronic log book if you're a short haul carrier. Huh. Things like how you pay your fuel taxes, the type of license plates that you have to have hmm. uh, in registrations to be able to travel across a, a state lines. In our situation, we know where cargo is being diverted. Right. Most of the cargo that was bound for Baltimore is deferred to Norfolk. But you also have cargo that's going to areas like Philadelphia, New York, New Jersey, for example. And for our local operators who traditionally haven't had to go through those hurdles because they've only operated in Maryland, they now are finding, how do I get cleared to be able right. to go to those other ports as fast as possible Sir, so that they can continue serving? Them? Yeah, quickly here, what do you want to hear from the president today? I think the big thing with the president is we're really encouraging uh, an encouraging message that spotlights the economic importance of this issue that does ask Congress for intervention to help with the rebuild. You know, certainly there is going to be third party liability uh, that is going to take years to work through, you know, insurance policies, potential litigation, any number of things that will have to occur before other parties are funding that bridge effort and we need to be talking about getting that bridge rebuilt as fast as possible for both the country's and maryland's economy makes a lot of sense lewis thank you so much for your insight we appreciate your time